So uh, these guys played like a week or two ago in Idaho or Iowa? <laughs> Des Moines, or? Iowa. Yeah, there you go. <coughs> and Alex was on, fi on fire. Uh, and it looks like he still is. Did he beat him like 4-1 or something yes. like that? <coughs> but Dennis, Dennis had two races to four before that match. Alex had won the hot seat. Yes, he can. And he had, you know, had to work his way through two, three matches in the lure side. Oh, okay. And it was obvious he was. So we got two fresh players he was right tired. here. Yeah. There, well, Dennis has been over playing uh, ten ball with Chinkakov, so oh, he's probably. But they always pocket ball so good. But I've noticed with Alex when he's playing good, he runs pretty good too. Along with it, you know, he, yeah. if he makes a mistake every game or two, he seems to be getting away with it. But I love watching him. You know, them long those long straight backs are just like hangers for these guys. Yeah. And they're leaving everything hanging when they miss a bank. So yeah, they got to deal they with something. So good, you all know, the time. They, they hit him so good. I love the way Alex gets out of trouble. It's like he's you think you got him trapped in. All of a sudden, yeah, he's there. Well, you know, that's reversed. why they. I remember when his game was just running out. You know, he still wanted, you know, U.S. Open when he couldn't hardly spell one pocket, but he's turned into a great, great player. And here we go, folks Alex Pagalion and Dennis Orcuyo. And this, uh, the winner of this plays Chohan for the hot seat. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be quite a match. Race to four, as all of the matches on the uh, on the winner side have have been. And, uh, which is unusual, you know, for these guys. You know, the group of the the Filipino group is a pretty pretty tight knit group, but. They like to beat each other. These two. <laughs> they be playing hard. And for such a good player, watch Alex. His backswing is about eight inches. Yeah, a little sounds like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know all pushed through, and he just moves that cue ball all over the place doing that. So we're going to do a little pitter patter around the stack for a while. I think he can. Uh fan that ball and get down to the other end of the table. Either that or he's going to he's going to jack up and swing at two rails into the stack. I don't uh, so I think just take a scratch, intentional scratch. He'll either two he, he might you know these guys take a lot of scratches because they run so many balls, one or two balls more doesn't make much difference. You're right. It looks like he's looking at your shot. I don't know that he can do that, so now he's looking at the other one, but he's he, he, <laughs> It's easy to call because there's no other ball he can hit. It's the wrong guy to mess up against. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. That's what he's, well, he's looking. Can he fan that ball and go into the stack too? That's okay. what I'm looking, but he's got, a, he's got a jack up to do. Well, it. I got a good view of it right here. Yeah, he, it's not laying perfect for that shot. He's got. He's yeah. just going to go into the stack. He's not even going to try to fool with the ball. Not, not worth the chance, I guess. <clears throat> Came out very, very well. I, he, So he's going to be back in the stack again here. Give himself. A, he's give just going to get a ball out. Give himself a bank. That's kind of his escape plan if he gets something. He can't shoot anything else. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, it looks like it, you know, it's the way they're going back and forth, it's going to be a... No, not me. <coughs> but as soon as someone makes a mistake, it's probably eight and out, you know, with these two, so... Probably just going to fan that ball and go to the rail. Not much else to do. Now he'll do the same thing. Bank the hit the eight and knock it over. Stick him in the stack again. Just don't want to. Yeah, you're going to try to nick it off the 10 so it doesn't come back into the yeah, stack. Yeah, right. You don't want that coming back in your pack and knocking it Oh, out. look at this. Son of a gun. He did not want to make it. <laughs> he had him buried. He had him buried. Worst things could happen. Sometimes you can hit him too good. Wow. Alex seems pretty serious for this thing too. He's not as animated as I've seen him in, in his matches. He's, of course, Dennis has won this thing the last two years, I think, hasn't he? Beat Alex oh, last he has? year. Oh, yeah. okay. I know he beat he beat Alex last year. Himself in a little pickle. There's a little advanced thinking there, knowing the ball comes up. Mm -hmm. Take a scratch right there. Good. So now he'll just have to stun it back in the same place, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. He'll do that. He's going to get this on his side. No. That's why Dennis didn't didn't shoot it. Now he's going to have to fan the ball again. Nothing spin down. He could, you know, he he might be able to see it. No, he can't. If he could graze those two balls by the side pocket and go down, he's not even looking at that. 
No, because they don't go now. Now what happens if, he, you know, uh, not, well, looks like he's going to. Looks like your shot was the best one. I don't know how far down he's going to go. But. Oh, there you go. That's okay. Uh-oh. Get <coughs> him off cut. There you go. Guys, do something exciting here. We got a lot of people watching this. We want to see some skyrockets. Fourth of July skyrockets. What's he doing? He's just spinning down. Let me try to get the cube underneath that ball by the pocket. Oh, oh. yeah. That's what I mean oh. about playing good and running good. He's done so many of those the last few matches that I've watched him play. I mean, that's who knows how many balls that saved him, that one turn of the ball. Going to kick into the two. He's just looking for, to put the cue ball down there. He's, he's going to bank the 14 down, I think. He just wants to make sure That's he don't leave he, an angle on the five. That's what I thought, yeah. <clears throat> you can't, you can't, uh, oh, he's don't like that. He's gonna, now he's going to try to open these up. Oh, he's sending the cue ball down to that corner and open these balls up. I don't like that either. Because that looks too easy of an out. I thought he's kicking down at the two ball. No, he's fanning these balls. He's breaking them. Break up. Them up. Yeah, good. You didn't play in it, Kenny. Don't you play sometimes at all? I'm getting, uh, I'm, just, I'm done playing in tournaments, I think, you know. It's like watching and hanging out. Yeah. Well, I didn't have to waste too much time playing. <laughs> but I've been on that golf table for quite a few hours. That's my favorite thing to come here for. <clears throat> that and then watching and doing this is fun. Where's your brother? Is he in, even in California? He's in uh, Colorado, south of uh, Denver. Yeah. No pool rooms around. Quite a few guys from Denver here. Yeah. Yeah. The guy I was playing golf with from Denver. And there's a couple, Kiko and uh, that Mc, McKnight or something. Like McDaniel. McDaniel, good player. Oh, yeah. Is he fine? He's still playing, I think, in, over there, isn't he? He did beat Omar? Wow. He could play a little. Did Luna? <laughs> He's after Shane. He wants to play Shane some ten balls. Who does? He does. Shane ain't won any part of it? Oh, of course he does. Maybe we'll see something happen, huh? We might. Yeah, sure he does. He ain't scared of none of them. No. Really. Johan told Shane, make him sign a contract. But he's he's an awful good player. I hear this guy. I haven't seen him play, but he didn't. He doesn't play one pocket. I, I watch him practice him with uh, Aranis. I can tell you, he can't. He don't. He broke and ran 12 racks on the bar table over here about 20 minutes ago. Did he really? The lady said if he did it, she'd give him 50 bucks, and he did it. 
Well, ball in he hand didn't even have to bet. He's got ball in hand after the break. Oh, well, playing the ghost, you mean? Like. Yeah. We're talking about Jeff DeLuna, folks. So you'll get to see some of him in the 10 ball, which starts tomorrow oh, yeah. around noon, I think, the yeah. first match. Great. They'll get, a, you know, quite a... But you know what's great about about uh, these tournaments? We get as almost as many or as many players in the one pocket anymore as we get in the in the rotation. You know, it used to be they'd get you know 60, 70, 80 players in one pocket. You're lucky to get 20 now. What, what do we have? 50 some? Wow! In this thing? Yeah, that's good. It's great. Yeah, guys coming from all over to play. Hey, knowing you know, knowing we're dead meat, we don't care. We just want to play. I went on uh, line about a week ago, and there was a, a big one pocket tournament, and I think it was Denmark or Holland. Oh yeah, they're, they're really, really into pushing, it. Over they're there. really pushing, and they it. play good. Well, <clears throat> I can't think of the guy's name, but he was a, a Moscone Cup older guy. Uh, he comes to Derby every year, brings a couple of young guys from the Netherlands with him. He was a he was a uh, he played on the on the European team, and he coached the European team, and he really pushes one pocket. And then is the the other guy that you know they have this series going on now. Yeah, and that's they, what I saw. And they're playing. Uh, they have like at least four pretty good sized tournaments. Wow. And they like you know, and, and it's such a great game that that uh, you know once they, they get them players playing it. But uh, this guy, he always brings good young players over to the Derby, and they gamble a bit and play and do well in the in the tournaments. These boys are really thinking their way through everything, aren't they? Well, they these, know one mistake and... Uh, these these two, you can't give them a blood test because they'll just shove it right up there. <laughs> you know, if you do, they... Uh, you know, guys our speed, they just leave us long and say, okay, daddy, you know, go I'll get her. Go you get know. my you prescription refilled. You, uh, they, you can't do that with these guys. They hit the hole with everything they shoot at pretty much. And the winner of this match plays Tony Chohan for the hot seat, and that is going to be a wonderful match to watch. Yeah, that'll be great. Yeah. You don't know. You, he doesn't waste any time, does he? It's, he doesn't, and it's hard to commentate in his match because you never know what he's going to do. He sees shots that no other one living human sees, and he makes them, you know, makes them work. Well, that went shorter than he wanted. But he got I think he's just playing cue ball on that. You know, he, he left him an easy out, but he... I would think the balls favor Dennis a little bit right now. Because he's got to go down underneath that 13. And... Uh, oh. He got away with it again. He wanted to hit that little folder. Now he's up in my bank, didn't he? Oh, he's trying. He wanted to get behind it, I think. You know, I mean, these are like, well, here, now it depends. See, most guys would just roll this in and probably not have a second shot. He's going he's okay. to stun it. I think he's got to shoot bank to six, doesn't he? Yeah. Because the other ball he didn't, he only gets one ball. No, he if he draws it, you know, I, I figure he's going to draw it. Unless he's, you know, he can bank the six, or the, I mean, if he banks the seven, he can draw it. He banks the six. Let's see what he's going to do. He's banking the seven and drawing it. Uh oh, he stiffed that ball. Uh oh. That that stroke sent it back. That's a ninety. 5% shot for him, I would say, originally. And that's, this one time is going to cost him several balls. Gets it, he's going to get on the 6, and then if he gets the right angle on the 
12 or 15, he breaks them balls open, and if he even gets in trouble, he's got to bank the 13. He's he's going to get some balls. Maybe he might just bank the 13 next. It's hard to tell. Is he straight in on the three ball? Right? Does he have an angle where he can get on that seven ball? Oh, well, he's going to have to shoot the seven. He's shooting. The oh, I got the. I thought the cue ball was in the stack. Okay, I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's hey getting jacked up and. He's got half a ball, but. He might. He might muscle up and get on the deuce here. He can put a. This is John Henderson with Kenny Crenshaw. Longtime Northern California player. I'm originally from Southern California, and we are watching Alex Fagalion and Dennis Arcuyo. Winner of this match plays Tony Chohan for the hot seat. And we are guests of POV, streaming this free for you. And Dennis didn't uh, punish him as well as he could have. He's going to spin behind now. Boom. Wow. How's that for a cue ball, folks? Jeez. It's better than watching him run out. That was a heck of a <laughs> shot. <coughs> Excuse me, folks, I have an allergy problem. I'm coughing a little bit. Hello out there to all my friends at onepocket.org. I know you're watching. I don't know, Dennis Scott, he, he can just fan this real, real thin and hope he don't leave a dead bank, but he's gonna he's gonna try and spin it in the stack, mm -hmm. I think. That's tough. Have to eat. Yeah. Have two relit in the stack, I guess. Problem is, he's got to shoot the ball over that way. He's taking a ball out of his hole. He might just take a scratch in the stack again. Just two relit in the stack and leave his balls in there. Yeah, yeah, and leave him alone. Well, you know, he's in order to hit it hard enough to get in the stack, and he's got to jack up, and it, you know, it's he could under hit it, and and then lose both balls out of his hole. Well, I mean, he's that kind of lucky here anyway that he's uh, back at the table. I think after that sh bank over that he missed. There you go. Yeah, but oh, there you go. But see, it's easy to under hit or over it. Now Dennis has a straight in bank, and he can uh, just draw it backwards a little bit and stay out of trouble. I think unless that 14 ball goes. Oh, he. He's got, yeah, I think he's got kind of a wide angle. Yeah, but he we can get it close and stick it behind that yeah. ball, but that ball goes that ball goes in, so he's gotta be careful. The fourteen goes. So he's he's gonna kick it to thirteen. Wow. Now Dan's gonna take another scratch. Oh no! Wow, that was kind of bold. Wow. You, you know, he got him shot so fast. That's why I thought he was taking a scratch. Because usually, when he's going for something, he really looks it over. 
gives it to once over. He's going to try and just follow it behind the 11, I think, so he doesn't leave a bank. No, behind it. Ah. Kind of looks like he has a keyhole through here to the 11 ball. Let me clear it out. Huh? On the host block, he's looking at banking this deuce. See if the one goes up the nine. He's going to bank the deuce and send the cue ball down the end rail, I think. Deuce goes. Just going to kill it. Yeah, those three balls on uh, Dennis's rail are log jammed anyways, right? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, but it, yeah. He'd have liked to got a little even too deep, you know. Now he's going to cut the three and leave the stack well, in the lose way of the getting cue it ball out. If he does that, unless the, you know, he's he's a gopher. He's looking at it, but he's got other balls in the way. So he's going to clear these and spin over there. And whew. he can stiff this 11, I think. I don't think he can see it. Can you see it? Can you see right here? Yeah. Oh, the 13. Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, he's looking right at it. I'm looking right at it. He's, you know, it's a, not quite. He'd have to bend it a little bit. If he could reach it, he's he's going for the deuce for sure. Uh, he's, a, oh, he's a snooker player shooting. <laughs> I've never seen him miss a shot with a rake like that. He was Canadian snooker champion, I think, a few years back. He's got a lot of centuries to it. Now what? Nine ball. So he's playing safe this way. Oh, he's shooting in the 15 and coming up behind these balls. Wow. Uh-oh. He ain't getting away with that one, I don't think. That could cost him five or six balls, if not the wow. whole game. It's uncharacteristic. Well, it was a pretty unique takeout, you know, the way he did it, but... He's been sending that cue ball down the hole. That's the third time. That time it bit him.
Well, it looks like the 10 doesn't go by the 11, so he's not going to going to try and do something else with the cue ball. And it blocks the 12. <coughs> All right, he's going What he's going for? Well, I was wrong again. I guess it does go by. I thought he was looking to send the table a ball downtown. ball get in the way now he's got room now he draws over on the 15 straight pull from here 15 6 14 or 10 That's these guys' game. Just wait till you know something bad happens. Somebody makes a mistake, and they just just generally over. Ah, uh, he got a little goofy here. He just knocked one in for Alex. Alex got three. No. Alex only has one, didn't he? One or two? I'm looking down there right now. It looks like I can't see. No, Alex has one, I guess. Can you see? On the other side is one or two. So he's got two now. Dennis has. No, maybe he's got three and Dennis got five. Maybe he's got five. He's just going to go spin around. Oh, he's drawing. I wonder if the one nine is. He's drawn into him to stop the cue ball. There you go. <laughs> <coughs> Needs two more. Yeah. So Alex has two. So Dennis has five after he spots his two. He needs these three. Which if the nine goes by, he gets them. He needs a 9, 10, and a 12. And it looks like they do go by. One. He's playing it like he needs another one. Wow. That's why you're in management, I keep telling you, Daniel. Now he needs one more. There's two more coming on the spot.
So Alex has to have three. Oh, did he owe a ball or two? Yeah, he owes two. What's he doing here? He's not cutting this ball in. He was thinking about he it. He wanted to. Oh, my gosh. You don't play the score and just roll it out of play. There you go. I don't know about that. So Alex needs one. For Dennis, Dennis, Dennis needs one. one. Yeah. Alex needs 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 them all. I'm tired. So you get to get. Oh yeah. In 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 prep. assistant. In preparation of the chocolate shake that's coming later, Coffee. and I'm buying the shakes. Uh, water. Two, water. Two water. Blacks, two blacks and one water. Thank you, Geraldine. Thank you. We just need to get us a pot over here is all. Well, it's going to fan this, go down table and try to hide it with the eight or the, or the one. Oh, no. Again. You know, he's been running so good the last few days. It looks like the uh, one pocket gods have. He's got, you know, he's been playing so good and getting away with uh, sending that cue ball down and hanging it in a hole like that. And what, he scratched twice this game doing that. Yeah. He, he scratched twice doing that. He hits him so good. He gets a ball on his side, sends a cue ball down, freezes you on the rail, or gets you right next to it. Trickled out. So you can probably spin this around. You can get out over towards the six. I like right this. there, it looks like he's got a pretty good angle, huh? Uh, well, you know, he'll, I think he'll try to spin it into five. You know, between the six and the five, that gets him in a pretty good spot. And it, I don't know that he can get around the other side of the six, and I don't think he'll try because he can make it real easily this way. Yeah. Just like that. Shot, yeah, that's cool. Now I can draw back and get the 13, then go forward and get that bank on the other ball. He, he's leaked one out on the break. And it's going to cost him at least three or four balls. Well, he's thinking of rolling it down, shooting the bank first, maybe. He didn't want to draw it because he can't get the right angle. He's got that. Now he's got an angle to maybe go in the stack. Or he might spin up for the one. I can't tell what he's done. Wow. 
He's, they're both just death. I know. He got over on the good part of the stack, too. <coughs> yeah, next he gets on the three real easy. See, I'd have been going down and banking that ball out of the other guy's hole a long time ago. I don't like running balls with what I screw up. There's a guy's yeah. got one right by his hole. They just blocked that out. <laughs> I know it's. <coughs> Thank you. What happened? Missed. Uh-oh. Well, he's got to make a make a combo. But he can run into the three ball. Thank you. Vodka later. <laughs> Coffee now. Well, I just think, he, you know, he's got to go for something. I think he didn't expect to get back to the table. And he's got a ball pretty close to the hole. So he just uses. He's going to try to hit the seven, I guess. I don't understand what he's doing here. Oh, man. Well, he wants to hit it on the backside, but he's still, you know, they're thinking all eight balls. They're thinking all the balls whenever they come to the table. What's he going to do here now? If he can get into those balls or bank the three. He's got a little bit of an angle. He's gonna, oh, he's going to get the two out of the way and drop back, then shoot the yeah. 15 next, it looks like. Wow. He can't scratch on the side, so he'd probably like to run into the 14 here, I think. Dennis will... Well, you don't have to run wow. into the 14. Dennis had him in trouble. That would have been two to zip. You just don't get to see very many games go down to the end game with these players. Yeah, it doesn't you know, seem that way. They not. work out a shot with ball. You know, there's no up table game hardly with them. You don't see too many of them. And they don't last long when there are. Well, what's he going to do here? Draw it back? For the 10 on the rail, is that the 10? He's gonna for oh, he's following here. Oh, he's just going to take the bank. I wonder if he's trying to go after the 7 again. He should take the bank. Well, I mean, he could just well, bank no, it. No, it's a two-way shot. If he misses, if, if he hits him and doesn't get a shot, he's got the 3 to bank. See? 
You can still cross the three. Yeah. It's dangerous, though. Doesn't mean he won't do it. I just. It might just, if he, he might just two rail it out of there. Yeah. Be happy with he got back he, in the if game. He, if he thinks he's got hit with inside English, right, to get out of the kiss. Well, if if he doesn't put inside English, he leaves too good of a shot on the 14. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's going to leave him down the other end of the table. He's just two rail it out of there, maybe. I can't tell. Well, he did. And, of course, he hit it perfect. Wow, good shot. Still needs two balls, three balls. Two. Put a stroke on this, watch this. <laughs> Ooh. I'll tell you what, folks, we're seeing some one pocket here. And we always do when he's up there. Both of these guys just run the ball so good. They both made mistakes. That was one, one heck of a run, wasn't it, John? Nice out. Yes. Dennis missed, a, you know, fair, a fairly easy shot for him. But it, and that would have been huge, two to nothing, and Dennis's yeah. break. And now it's one to one, and Dennis's break. Breaking the break at this at this caliber of player, breaking service is huge because they break so good. Although that one ball did leak out one time, but then they they usually don't do that. It's a nice break. I don't think he can kick underneath these balls. Are there any other matches going on, Geraldine? Currently, no. Okay. Chris McDaniel's on fire, kid from Denver. Yeah. Young player from Denver doing beating some top top guys. Just beat uh, Omar El Shireen. He plays awfully well. Who knows what, what, uh, I mean, we've got all these champions here already and there's more coming for the 10 ball. 15,000 added 10 ball starts wow. tomorrow. It's a nice payday. Taking a break, folks. Taking a break, folks. We are watching two of the very best right here. And the uh, winner of this gets to play another of the very best for the hot seat, Tony Chohan, who's undefeated so far through the tournament, as are these two. And uh, you, gotta, you don't want to miss Tony Chohan because sometimes it's over pretty fast. We were we were watching one time. I, I I don't know. You know. I mean, the games were taking less than ten minutes each. He just sees things and executes. When it doesn't work against this caliber table, he's liable to get beat pretty quick too. He just came in second uh, at the at the uh, tournament in at Family Billiards, the Cole Dixon Memorial. Jeff DeLuna beat him. Yeah, Jeff beat him twice. Yeah. He had he entered the one pocket and he practiced night before last with uh, 
the diamond diamond dudong or whatever the james arena he practiced and he decided one pocket wasn't for him <laughs> he says can i get my money back and chris gave him his money back mm -hmm. That's what happened. yeah yeah he, he's he's he says i don't care much for this one pocket And here we are, folks. It didn't. It was a very short break. I guess he can get underneath that, those two balls. He's going to roll on the seven, I think. He does this a lot and sticks his neck out and gets away. Look out! No, he's good. Oh my goodness! Escaped. But I mean, he kicks. He makes them sometimes. You know, that's pretty risky, but in my book. But he got a ball on his side. And Shane is still, he's, he's working his way through the loser's side. He's serious. There's a heart attack when you see his face in this tournament. He's, he wants it. He's been playing pretty good. Now he showed me the door early, which there was not much doubt of that, but fun to play those guys. That's why guys like me get in these tournaments, get a chance to mix it up with the champs. What's he going to do? He's in a tough spot here. I think he, I th I, well, he can't shoot the 11 because of the point. So is he just rolling he's this combination? He's just slow rolling this. Yeah, because I think if he gets a cue ball on the rail, he's, he's just going for it. Or you just rifle that ball in and like it was a hanger. He doesn't miss many. That, but that three there, that ball he missed last year, the last game that cost him the game. The last game, yeah. But this is it's got a combo. You can just stick the cue ball, but it's one ball. He'll shoot the seven and just come up and try to split the if he if he can split the three and the thirteen or get in between him, get up in them balls. I think. I think this one you just make sure you make it. Just like that. If I could just shoot the shots that I know are the right shots. <laughs> I know how to play. I just don't pocket balls. That was fairly obvious what he was going to do there. He's got some problems, though. He's got to get... get Probably got to come back and shoot this other stripe and then try to get on that three to get the stack open. Now he can try to get on the three here. He kill that ball, can he? Off Just the go rail, right in the stack. Little, little high left to try to run it in between the deuce and the stack. I don't see what else goes. He's got to get on the three if he's going to get more balls. Uh, and unless he rolls down and takes the bank and he doesn't have a good angle for that. Well, he can get yeah. way over there. Is he, he going to try to get between those well, balls? No, he's talking about he's going to force follow, spin it. Huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's an idea. He likes spinning his ball. I think you know, when you're go running English with the ball, makes the pocket accept the ball. Don't you think a little better too? The way they hit him. Because you put that outside English and try to stick it across, and you hit that facing, it could pop it out. So he's shooting the one next. It's going to break him up. Or is it just Looks like it. They're slow rolling for the three. Oh. Wow. 
uncharacteristic. That was darn near straight in too. You don't. You, it didn't look that close. They wore me out on the golf table. <laughs> Don't sleep good away from home, do you guys? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, sometimes I'm playing and get home late, but I'm like, okay. at home I'm in bed at 10 o'clock and up at six, and and these this uh, tournament tournament hours are a little different. Yeah. If he drags the cue ball down towards Alex's pocket off the two ball, he doesn't want to give up a bank. Looks kind of risky. You Might do something do. else. Oh, that it. ball's right there. Okay, yeah, didn't see that. But still, he's got. Well, he's trying to block the block the deuce with it. That looks right up there kind of excited like he thought he might have a shot. He's still looking. He is so creative. He might be shooting a combo here. Kill that cue ball. Run into the nine. He's going to shoot it. No? Thought he had a chance to steal this game. There. Stood up on it. Jumpy. You don't see him do that very often. Flinch no, at the I ball. think he went off a little bit before he really had it dialed in. Yeah. Went off in his hand. Shoot his finger off. <laughs> we did. You I know, do that did. all the time when you get to the <laughs> little finesse shot and you get kind of the yips or something. Well, close to the ball it was a nightmare for me, too. You know, like that. that uh, it's awful hard to stay down a stroke through the ball. Now he's going to hit thin this hit, and uh, oh man, if he didn't get that double kiss, he really yeah, had. He's him looking good. Well, no, he's he can probably. Well, I don't know. Buried him, didn't he? Unless he can see the eight, he's probably going to bank the eight. Try to double him up down there. Oh, 
Or is he drawing it back? He might be spine banging it back. How's that cue ball? Plan B worked pretty good. He's going to be in the stack next next shot here, though. He's going to come off the eight and bury him. Looks like it. Bob Bolio's taking pictures. He takes great pictures. He posted one on Facebook of me playing the other day. I thought, God, that old guy. That, oh, that's me. That old <laughs> guy's me. Again? My hair's all white, you know, from the way they took the pic. I mean, I got a few brown hairs in there. Great photographer. He takes nice pictures. See what I told you? Not as good as he liked. He gave him a bank at the three. I don't know if that's what he's going to do. But. Or hit the... Maybe at the one. Yeah. I thought, you know, if he gets him in the... See, and the reason he didn't execute it as well, he, he played, he tried to do two things at once. So he tried to get the eight on his side, which he hit it hard enough and did. But if he just fans it and keeps it on that side, he's for sure got him buried. But he wanted it. You know, that's the difference. You know, those, those guys, they're trying, thinking more advanced, but sometimes it doesn't work. Because he had about six inches to get inside there to really stick him in the stack yeah. and force him taking a hickey. You can probably force follow this and take the 10 out and get the, get it safe. That's probably what he's going to do. Oh, he's going to bank it. And he'll spin it down table and try to hide it. Watch this shot. Yeah, it's going to go over to his own side. Look at here. He's going to steal a game. <coughs> Oh, you don't like that? What if that ball goes? Of course it does. It, it goes. He just wanted a little better angle. He's going to have to draw it back now or, or get on the five. I guarantee he's going for it. Probably getting on the five, just skinny it. Break them balls up. You know, I watched a close-up of him running about three balls in a one-pocket tournament he was in. I forget what it was. And you could see right in his eyes, right? Three shots in a row. He did not look at the cue ball. You know how your eyes go back and forth? Well, you can see him going back and forth here. You see him going back and forth now? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, yeah. right there. Okay, I see that. Gonna get him behind the five and the one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, we might finally get an end game going, maybe. You got it. 4-2. So what's he doing? Two railer and draw back down. Got to be careful with it. No, he's just going to. I don't like this. If he doesn't do, execute that, he's leaving a cross bank again. Alex yeah. just doesn't miss it. Yeah.
How do you hit it? Oh, man. You got no man's land if he hits. Oh, wow. Now he's left it back again. But I don't know if he can get he, by there. Has he got them all blocked? Right there. Can you see the three? Well, he can maybe twist this 13, but he leaves those. He loses the game, so I don't know what he's doing. He's probably going to two rail this one, stick the cue ball on the 13, I think. Now he's looking at it. Drop back for the six if he's shooting it. If he's not shooting it, just to get one ball. Pretty risky. It's real risky, but I mean. Oh, he might just have to hit the one and park it right underneath the 13. Park it on the 13, yeah. Of course, you don't know. See, if he two rails it in the 13, it could come over and knock the cue ball. Maybe he could knock the three out with the one. You don't want to give him a bank on the six yeah, either, but right? Yeah, but if he banks, if, if, if he hits the three on the low side, it's going to go right down where the cue ball and the 13 are. So it's kind of dangerous. He probably won't just try and split them, I would think. Just go in between them balls. Oh, he had enough to throw it out there. Yeah. Made sure he went wide. All right, he's just going to fan this. You got back in Fresno. That's fun. <laughs> you working in Fresno today? Yes, sir. Nice and about 110? Not, oh, not that bad. Fall, fall in Fresno. You got the best match to watch. What's he gonna do here? He can't can't fan it that much. Gotta be careful with the six over there. This is a little tough little shot here. You don't he can just hit it thin, but he might leave a cross bank. Yeah, six is looming over there, isn't it, for a bank? Yeah. Okay. Kicking the three out. He's going to try and roll it up and then spin, you know, block with those two balls. But it's pretty tough shot that close, I think. So now what's he doing? I don't. He's just going. See? He's got a shot at the. He's got him blocked off pretty good, doesn't he? Well, he's going to have to shoot the three. Tell him where to mail the checks, Daniel. We should we get a big contract coming. <laughs> We're doing this one for We're free. Get two cups of coffee We're next time. We're doing this for free for the <laughs> for the big payday the next turn. I think he's going to end up, well, I, you know, he, of course that th three is a tough shot. He'll figure out something, but. If he plays the three, but he can knock the 13 out, you know what I mean? He might, because he went for this, something like this the last game. Yeah, but, he if, got he, out but if he misses games ago? it, if he misses it, there's a cross bank or who knows where the cue ball is going. You know, if he wasn't on the rail, you know, if he had a little bit more air, he, I think he, he'd go for He it. can't get to his six ball, can he? It doesn't look like it. He might be looking at cross bank in the deuce. Who, you know, who, hard to say with what these guys see. But he's going to look at every opportunity and every option. And, and, the, and I think the strongest thing about his game is once he decides, he totally commits to the shot. He blocks out. You know, he just, you know, that's. I try to do, uh, like a lot of lesser players, two things at once and screw them both up. And... Uh, instead of just either 100% safety or 100% pocket the ball. 
Let's see. Okay, he well. could he could follow the thirteen down and try to pay the commission, and then he and not leave him a. Shot well, he doesn't on the leave six. a bank because he doesn't because the three of the, or the you know if he can see the you know he might just yeah that that's a good option if he can hit it straight enough. And now he, he's looking at, uh, you know what he's looking at, maybe. The thirteen in you know into the rail and then off of the three and follow the cue down. Down there, he sees he sees lots of funny things. <laughs> he might even be kicking at the at the uh, at the six. He has absolutely looked at every th possible thing twice, and it looks like he's going for something. He's going to follow this down. No, and no he's going to watch it the into six. the rail and the cue. He's playing the cue ball for sure down to the end rail. I just got a whiplash. Watch it. <laughs> He does. He used to do that. Drive you crazy. Down and up. Down and up. At least now he looks him over before he gets down. You see what he's doing here. He's not. He he's trying to to to. The most important thing is to force follow the cue ball on the other side of the 13, and then get the get the uh, the ball that he's shooting either to bump into the three or off the three or but to ruin any kind of bank or anything, and to get you know it's an offensive shot at the same time. That's what he's thinking. So hard. He's on the rail. That ball's on the rail. So easy to lose the cue ball here. Hit it too much, too thin, come up, leave him a shot on the six. But he really doesn't like it. So why not just take a foul right there? That too wimpy? He must be able to get by, shoot between the deuce and the, and kick the six. See, that's oh, what he's doing. Oh, okay. Good. There you go. But he just doesn't like leaving that. Well, you, you know, Alex has got a problem here. Not one he can't get out of, but he can't. I don't think he can make that ball. Evidently, he thinks he can. He's gonna, is he going to bank this and go into the three and just... Looks like it, yeah. Because, oh, no, he's going to fan it. In the creepy. Now... Oh, um, that's good. He can't get to the six, can he? I, you've got a better angle than me. It doesn't. It looks like he can get to it, but I don't know if he can get... If, if, he's certainly not going to try to backspin it over there. He can't bank it. He can see the left edge of it. I can see from right here. So he just might. Does that 13 go off the three in his hole? If he kicked at it? Well, we're going to find out. Even if he kicks it bad, he hits a three and didn't he's lose he's anything. He's got to hit it easy. And not, he's not going to leave anything, is he? I don't think. Oh, yeah, hard to say. But if he's going to hit one of these balls. Woo! These look easy, but they can be kind of weird. Well, it, it may not even go. You might hit it perfect, and it, you know, but he, want, he can get it near the hole. He's got to hit it with a little sauce to make it I think but I don't think he can sell out that's the main thing here no matter which he's going to hit one of these two balls wow one down hanger type I guess for him he might have been better off not making it and sliding by but Now we got a whole new problem again. But he's got six balls now, doesn't he? Or has he got five? Five? This is nice. This, and now he just fans this and leaves it straight in. What? Oh, okay. So he has to do the same thing. Unless he's going to hide them behind. He's got three balls to get behind.
he's sneaking across in that ball, that one ball or the yellow ball, and leaving him down at the other end of the table and yes, taking that ball to, down towards his pocket. Down there some, no, somehow, he's not doing somehow, it. and making. So he's him got to go three rails underneath this ball by his pop, by uh, Dennis's pocket. Two rails. Oh, two railing. Oh my goodness! How's that cue ball? That was a heck of a shot. How is that cue ball? Wow. There's a reason this guy wins everything, folks. I know. <laughs> when you think he's got an immortal trap, he just he turns it around. I think he's got room to go in between the... Uh, he's going to follow the two ball and try to get behind the gonna, ball on the rail? He's going to two rail the two it's and like the six. It's like it's going into like it, isn't it? Oh, he's cross This is kind of risky. He's going to cross bank it. Oh, there you go. He can spin inside it and go down the other end, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's going to cross it over, put a little English on it. Should be all right, you know. It just looks a little funny. Well, he has to, you know, it's good. They're going to, you know, be, be, be like ships passing in the night. They're going to be close. It's going to be close. He's, but he's, it looks like, unless he's slamming this, he's not doing that. He's, he's, Is he going to follow the one, he's put the cube along the rail, and the one on his side? He's going to do something that we don't normal, the humans <laughs> don't normally see. Half of, I kind of like that. I like, I like that. the that shot, but I just wouldn't, you know, how many players would have confidence to hit that ball on the right yeah. side and then draw it back and freeze it on the rail? <laughs> that was a nice shot. And he did, he did it like he wasn't even worried about it. A very nice shot. But the danger with this guy is when you get him in a mortal trap he, and he just decides to go, he often often gets it, gets it. Yesterday I just saw him pull out a couple of miracles when I thought he was buried. Take a scratch. Well, I think it, I think he'll kick on the deuce. Shoot to eight and go around this ball. Oh, I see. Oh, look at here. Well, brother, what do you think about that? I, I, well, he's, he can see the nine, so he can draw back and stay out of trouble for another shot. But he's got to be careful not to leave it banked on the six. No, he's going to go down table and, and double him up again. Look at that field goal right through the hole. If it hits the mm. one, it probably scratches. Yeah, yeah it wouldn't have scratched yeah. it. You don't like something you don't like about it. He might have came out enough. Well, no, he's got. He can shoot the five down there off of the, you know, into the thirteen and off of it maybe. But he's giving him a shot to clear out balls if something good doesn't happen.
This is one of the best safe games I've ever seen. I mean, you know, and well, they're they pulling agree. everything off, too, you know. They see stuff that... That's why they're champions. Look at this. A back again behind that deuce. That's pretty strong, folks. And now it keeps getting out of it. You know, he's still going to double him up one way or the other, even if it, if it takes a scratch. He might two rail this eight if he can see it. He can. I think that's the next shot we're going to see. Get something over on his side. and Awful tough shot. He's on the rail. It's dead straight. What's he doing here now? Leaving it out the other end. The only problem is that nine ball is... Well, he's, too, okay, he's oh, he's going to mass around the ball. And scratch. Oh, no. Damn. He just got up and shot. He could pump, pumped out a couple of more times, but that was pretty creative. Yes, it was. He's been getting away with that I stuff. I mean, you know, that He's see, been getting away with that stuff all day yesterday. Today it's just not working. You know, he'd have rattled the corner and hung up. Bye bye now. Who's that was he? like that shot he nipped a game or so ago. Remember, he was in the stack and he kind of like. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's he? See, most guys would. I think he'd follow this and get on the six. It looks like he's thinking of drawing. So, you know, he's, well, he has. Probably doesn't have the angle to do that. But. That happens fairly often with the, that high spin. He didn't look it over like he usually looks more. He got lucky he didn't knock that ball all the way over. It could have cost him a game. What just happened? Did he miss the ball? I kind of blacked up for a second. He loaded it up with right-hand English. and The ball curved before it got there, as it will sometimes when you don't put a nice stroke on it. And, uh, and, and he missed it. By quite a ways, he just got lucky. He 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 got lucky. He didn't knock the 14 over on the Alex's side, and, and he'd punish him with all those balls. And it's still really lay in uh, Orcuyo's favor. Thanks for the picture, Bob. It sure made me look old. <laughs> can you, you can you young those photos up a little? Bit? <coughs> can you? Do you got a young button? You are impo most important part of contributing to that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to do much. Huh? How did you get that hair so white? So what I wanted. Huh? So how did you get the beard and the hair so yeah. white? Yeah. That's the way they actually are. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Bullio's taking a lot of pictures. He takes great pictures. And posted one on Facebook of me, and I thought, oh, my God, look at all the wrinkles in that old face. I must have been up all night. Now, he's going to draw down between the one and the nine here, it looks like. No? Oh, here. Here, here, here. Trying to double him up again. They both, they do two things at once so well. You know, kill that cue ball, get the ball in the, uh, over to the hole or in the hole. Can you see that nine ball? I think, he, yeah. Either that or he's looking at the combo. I think he probably has room to shoot the nine in, the way he's looking at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he does, and then he can go, he doesn't leave a shot probably if he misses it. They're really grinding it out, people. This is really, if you're a one pocket fan, this is really a great match. Well, he played the combo. Yeah. It's like he's just got to knock that ball out of there and just. 
kill well, a cue ball. Well, it's not, or he's coming behind it. Just, not, oh, yeah, he's just going to keep it on there, but it, you know, it gets him out of trouble for now. So he, he, he gives him uh, two balls to shoot at here. Well, he, he got him. He's going to be he in hit it, the five. He, or the I don't think so. I think he's. I think he's. He's. Uh, he can see the one end of it. I think he'll come off of the uh, the one ball and back down. But it's dangerous. I don't know. He might be able to see those balls. It's hard to see from this angle. Just force. Just follow the twelve. But he's going to let him bank the one towards his hole. He does that. Or bank something towards his hole. There you go. That was a beauty. You can't get behind that nine now. I mean, he's going to bury him behind the one. He's going to bank this ball on the rail or towards his hole. And go all the way around the table. Just go down the other end and leave him there. Oh my goodness. We didn't have room. Three rails. Got away with it. No, he didn't. The nine. That, yeah. I don't know what he's banking at. He didn't you know, he had to bank it way down and combo a ball in. I don't think it had room to go. I think for a tougher shot as he had, just like on that Massé shot he kinda tweaked and that he oh. just he just didn't uh, I don't think he saw 100% he kind of went anyways and he got the he just kind of jumped up on the shot did you see that he kind of yeah I did. He, he I just was too premature on the yeah he just like okay I'm going to take a flyer here but this game's already But you in know trouble. you do that once or twice and you realize it can't you know you got to dial in right see, but here, so one he'll, he'll one play miss better. and he can get you know all these balls I he's just not playing the score I mean, he, he makes shots like this, of course. And he hit that real hard. He didn't have to hit it that hard because he wasn't going to leave him hardly anything. He's going to try to kick that. Just dive kick. behind there, go move something over to the side. All right, and well, he's going to, what's he doing? There you go. Yeah. He needs. Oh, I think Alex, Alex kind of escaped from. He could have had a little bit more brutal punishment. Well, Alex doesn't on that. have any. Does he? No, I'm saying he's lucky Dennis didn't get more balls there. I mean. No, he's shooting a two railer here. All he's got to do is stab one in, and I've seen him do this a few times. Watch this. He likes it. <laughs> How do you like it, folks? He looked like he was dead in the water. Now he's going to end up back in the game here. Spin out for the 14, probably. Or will he draw? Might draw. Yeah. Oh, force out. Oh, my gosh. He's had two railer. He hit it like it was so much. You see him walking down for the next shot before it got to the middle of the table. Uh oh. I like this. Oh boy. I mean, he has 10 inches to put the cue ball in there. And he you got about great. 4 inches. What? Oh no, okay, 10 inches. Yeah, you're 8 inches maybe before the pocket. I love 1, it. 2, 3. How many people are watching, Daniel? 695. It was 2,000 before you and I started. Oh. oh. He's going to, you know, he gets the right angle. He's going to get on the eight, and he's going to come bank the one railer on the, This guy is a, just amazing. I mean, you know, I grew up watching Ronnie Allen play, but a whole different game. And then, you know, in big pockets, Ronnie just sent a lot of balls at the hole, but this, he just picks, picks, picks. You think he's dead? He comes with a shot like that and is going to run six balls at least. I 
Now, this is funny. I guess lays. Yeah, it looks like he's got a jack up because he might be follow it into the side, right? How many balls does he need? All three. It's better than needing all eight, where he was about 40 seconds ago. Oh no, because he's gonna he's, he's gonna, gonna go three rounds. No, he's gonna ball. play. She's gonna play shape on this 12 ball. Watch this. That's not right. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> now he stuns this a little bit. He makes this and he has a bank on the 11. You are seeing some amazing pool, people. I mean, this is one of the best matches ever. And it's only scores only 1-1. One, one. Oh, uh, a little farther than he wanted, but he can still throw it so down. He's got to draw out of this. Well, he can. He can. He banks like a lunatic. Can he pick this and leave it hanging in the hole, like without trying to smack it? I, don't, I think he's got. Well, he can throw it. You know. Wow. Oh, That's one of the greatest outs you'll ever see. Yeah, that's like escaping from Alcatraz. Only three people have done two it. A long two-railer. A long two-railer. Perfect position. Yeah, yeah. Well, if that don't break your heart. Stab in a long two-railer. And when he, he hit that. He made a couple of mistakes and he, and he got out of it. You know what I mean? I mean, he's. No, but he, he hit that two-railer and started walking towards the position. He knew He knew it was in. Wow. Let's save that one, Daniel. <laughs> that wow. was something. And then he's announced his break two to one instead of being down two to one. Which, and Dennis didn't do anything wrong, really. He's breaking a little closer to the rail than most other people. He's only about four inches out. Most people are like, Eight, six, nine, a hand six. span out. Well, you, how far are you up from the rail when you're breaking? The, well, the closer you can break to the rail, the better break you're going to get, but that ball pops out too much yeah. doing that when you don't make a real good hit. So, you know, the, the safest break is, is at least four inches out and up to eight or nine sometimes. Now, this doesn't mean the dentist isn't going to do something just like it because we've all seen him do it. He doesn't have a ball wired to his pocket, does he? Huh? No. I don't know what he's going to do here. Put him in the stack, maybe draw back. I don't know. Take a scratch. Are oh, you just going to bank this up and go down behind it? Keep it simple. You don't want to put any more balls over towards his pocket to go. You know what I mean? He he could roll into the stack. Try to wait a little bit. You know, any time, you know, an eight and out is always impressive. But an eight and out from there when the guy only needs one ball, because any, anything That's you it. miss, you're, you're done. You're yeah. done. It was point. really, really special. What's he going to do? He's going to kiss. I don't like this. He can't get by there. He can't. I'm looking at it. He's got like. Oh, he wants to bang it in his side and put it in the stack, maybe. I, can't, I, don't, I don't like it. I think he. He's probably going to end up taking a scratch or just. Just do a roly poly here and just wait. Oh, he's banking the a ball on his side. There so you go. Yeah. All these, you I know. Hate putting a ball on the guy's side. But every other shot's going to be worse. Now look at what he's looking at. Two rail again? No, he's looking at a carom with a five and the six. Yeah, it's not there. Six is. He looked at it. Or is it? Is it? What is that? Ten. You know, he could, he could, he could shoot it and and spin out if he made it, but I don't think it's. 
That would really be too bold. Can you get him down the other end of the table? Anyhow? He can bank that ball the by loser the side. Of this match, the loser of this match plays... Uh, yeah, if McDaniel is the guy that... Yeah, did he just beat Omar? Aim, Omar? Then I think it is. He did. Wow. Good player from Denver. I didn't ever heard of him. <coughs> Pretty nice little shot there, yeah, except for the five. Bye-bye yeah. again, probably. You wanted to nick the five with the ball and send them all on that side. See, you know, that, that's also what happens when you lose a game like that. You took the heat a little bit and got a little careless, as he did. Okay, so he's going to draw into the three and hope to deuce buck knocks the 15 down for another shot. Looks like it will. He's really got to smoke it, I think. Oh, the seven. Okay. He's playing good, and they're running his way. And he plays with the rake. It's probably as good as any living human, too. Ex snooker player. So what's he do now? Spin up and hit the three. Oh, he went inside. Oh, a little too much. What does he got? Does he have anything that goes? Yeah, that ball goes, doesn't it? Oh yeah, I think I think the deuce goes. Perfect. Everything's just perfect. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, yeah, he got where he wanted. I don't know what else he can shoot unless he just spins around and banks that 12. Soft spins here. Who knows with him? Well, there might be a combo here. I don't think the 8. That's, that, that combo's almost dialed in. Is it? You can get up there and maybe still bank the bank the other ball if he doesn't get where he wants. Oh, no, he's going to go behind it. Okay. A, a la Efron. Have you seen him do that a million times? Instead of playing position for a bank, he'll tick you a ball out and shoot it straight in. He's feeling it. He is feeling it. Well, he didn't feel it there. Oh, he was going to go two rails, hit that ball, and then come the cue ball into the stack. And I'm all done, and here's your shot. Froze to a ball. He, the can't, he can't kick. He can't kick for it. I don't think. Oh no, he can't. I mean, he could, but he have to. No, that's too dangerous. You leave a cross bank more often than not. He's just gonna have to follow down table and do something and try to protect that ball. Maybe it's froze. He might bank this. Yeah. Got it on his side. Good shot. Yeah, that's good.
Cue ball right there, bub. Nothing, he, nothing he does surprise me. Everything's almost perfect. <coughs> I mean, he's making what many people consider the best player in the world look kind of silly here. You know, but he's just, you know, he's got him ducking, 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 and and Dennis, Dennis, you know, has such offensive firepower, and he doesn't, he just doesn't get to use it. You, you know, he doesn't give him no bank. He doesn't give him no, you know, can't protect his ball there. So now it's out of there. Now yeah, maybe he's got to be careful. He's got to be careful because you don't want to leave a cross bank. Dennis is probably getting to the stage where he's going to go for anything that even looks like a shot. He's going to rev it. Try to kill the cue ball behind there again. Like that. Beautiful. It is beautiful. It's like, people, you know, unless you shoot, the, you don't know how hard that shot is to execute. Just stun it jacked with that speed. Jacked up like that. Yeah. Jacked up and with that speed, just stun it. Just, everything's just perfect. Hides, hides him on the ball. So now he's he's whamming something and trying to draw back down. And he did. Look at this. Hello, I can play a little too, you know. Wow. I can play a little too. So what's the score right here? Uh, 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 nine to one. <laughs> hmm? Six, seven. Six one. Well, just turn it around, Daniel. Uh, to turn the. This guy's not gonna roll over. I stun it over to here and get a bank on the. Right here. Oh, he hit it too good. Well, he might be able to stiff it. I think he can. Tear the pocket off with this one. Hello. Banking the nine. Next. Maybe not. They're sitting kind of funny. Well, he ain't going to bank it unless he can throw the cue ball back on this side. So he's going to bank the ten. Okay, he's going to pull. Ten's pretty tight to the nine to get. He can just get it down there. I don't think he can make it. He doesn't want to leave him a shot on the ten. No, he's going to bank the ten. I think. Oh, he's banking the ten. Okay. And he's got to run. draw it. He's got to stiff it. Like that. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> Problem is, Alex can stiff this nine now. Wow. With the crutch. No, but he's, yeah. he, he, just, he, he gets such a nice stroke on it with the crutch. What's Dennis doing? Dennis going to cut this ball in. He's thinking about it. I've seen him cut these and they don't even hit the rail. That's what irritates me. <laughs> they don't even jiggle in. It's a do or die shot, and there's no, and you can come back and scratch off the eight, I think. Hit the rail and went in. He is letting out a little shaft his own self here. One more? 
five. Oh no. Six five. Now if he makes this then he can come down and, and scratch. Uh oh. Mama mia. Look at the shape he had. Huh? <laughs> he makes that ball. Zao has got this down the rail. He'll go for the one that's in the hole. He, no, he's going to win the game here. He probably will. What a game that was. The best of the best showing us why. came with a couple of shots he really deserved to win. you know they both made some terrific shots that long rail bank that popped out looked looked pretty good Problem here is the next guy that's got to play Alex is not going to like it, probably. He plays it. I've seen some entertaining matches before. Rafael Martinez used to be so fun to watch because he oh, would yeah. shoot mass A yeah. shots and all kind of things. There was a match with him and uh, Silver Ochoa at the uh, other pool room uh, in Mountain View before they moved here a few years ago. Unbelievable. Look at this shot. I mean, you know how hard it is to kick the back of that ball perfect with that kind of confidence? Well, he, was, he made a couple of those yesterday. He's got to get perfect to get a if, shot if on If he the doesn't other. pull this off, it's over. Well, he's, he's going to try to spin down here by, to get the... Uh, 11. Yeah. You know, it's tough. It, it's a nice angle for it, but he's got to make the ball, too. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Two chances. <laughs> Finally got a roll. Finally got a roll. Doesn't look like he's got a bank, does it? <coughs> yeah, if he doesn't make that out, so just slams you, that four in. You and bank it into the stack and just keep your fingers crossed? Well, you don't keep his fingers crossed. Or is he going to shoot a combo to, bank? He's trying to kill it. No, he, I don't think he's trying to hit it. I think he's just trying to kill a cue ball down there and bank, bank into the balls. But I don't know. If you do that, he'd liable to live a pretty easy bank. He might be banking into the three and then going into the stack here. Combo bank? Well, oh, just to get on his side, I don't think he. Kind of like that? Cue ball in the stack, yeah, good shot. It's really a tribute to him that he's not broke down after all the stuff that's been thrown at him. Yeah. Yeah, what a player he is. All right, he's going to bank. If he can throw this three and draw the crap out of it. Hard, it's hard to throw it, draw on it, but he's going to try it. Three ball, you kind of jack up, bounce it, cue ball over the stack and bank the it's three. It's hard to throw because you got to hit it, you know, because of the, you know, to get, to get the cue ball to hide the stack. You know, but I think he's going to shoot it. And he, he will hit it close. 
This may be straight draw. He's drawn know. back and forth. Oh, yep. yeah, yeah. He's, 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 he's this is going to be for a pretty firm shot. Yeah, he's coming back to the center rail and up for shape on the stripe. Put a nice stroke on it. Get in there. Put a nice stroke on it. And he's a little rattled. Usually, you know, that's a pretty, pretty high percentage shot for him. Now Alex has got one. The deuce. And he can draw it back, maybe. Might not hit it hard enough. Or good enough. All right. Now we are going to see a spin on the deuce and into the stack with the cue ball here, I think. He's going to... I think if he can if he can get it. No, he's just gonna play a safety maybe. Okay. Oh, I thought he could have got that ball over on his side. He wants to slow him down. He has to slow him down. Well, how's the chat room going? Are they behaving themselves? Huh? Anybody I know in the chat room say hello? Yeah. Oh, they know the voice. They know because, well, I've been around long enough. Lucky, lucky for me. And, uh, Looking at 79 years old in about three days. And I would like to be here and watch the finals of the 10 ball, but Mama said, you're coming home. Hi, Dustin. Oh, I'm having a good time. I got knocked out early. Bob, hey, Robert Aldana. One of my homeboys in Sacramento, Crab Man from Kentucky, and Long Strokin' John from Texas. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> He's a funny guy. When Kentucky Bill got sick in Houston the first time, we, he, he, he and John went out for barbecue, and he said that John poisoned him. <laughs> He's fun. He's fun. We'll see you in October, John. Long stroking John. Happy early birthday. Thank you. Well, let's see if Dennis can pull this out. <laughs> the Brooklyn. You didn't see one pocket like this, Jay. Uh, that that uh, that last game is one of the best I, that I've sweated. You know, I mean, and Dennis, it's a tribute to him that he just kept firing back after what Dennis, or what uh, Alex is putting on him. I mean, Alex is playing good, <laughs> running good, and Dennis just come with some terrific shots. And he just, you know, he missed that one, uh, made some great ones. Alex is just at another level. He and it, it, whoever wins this playing Chohan tomorrow morning, they're going to play at noon tomorrow, Daniel, I think. You don't want to miss that one, people. Tony Chohan is not hitting him too bad his own self, believe me. He went through Shane like Shane was in grammar school, <laughs> you know, and she, Shane been drilling everybody, and he got to Tony. He did, Tony's into his head, I think, a little bit.
but what happens with Tony is when it doesn't work and you give players of this caliber some shots, Johnny Chapman, Jay, was Cannonball's real name from Chicago originally. I watched him play all night with Detroit Whitey when I was a kid down in Orange County. Bank pool champion like a lot of the guys in, in Chicago. Played everything good, but. Well, where's that cue ball? Jeez. In the stack. <laughs> and when this is over, we will, there will be, there's a lot of small action going on. When I say small, up to 200 a game last night. I played uh, golf all day. There will not be any action anymore tonight, but uh, had a good time. So he wants to, I don't know what he wants to do here. I, I don't. He'd like to come off the 13, go behind 11, but I don't know. You know, if he nicks the 11, it looks like he can, he, he could leave a bank. I don't know why he don't go off the 12. Just hide it. I think that's what he's going to have to do. He doesn't. Oh, he can see the 11. Is, he okay. he's, is there a kiss there? He's banking it. He's banking it. He's going. He is going. Runs into the nine with a cue ball. He's in a good now. Nah. Oh my gosh, that was a great shot. Well, he really wasn't. I got. I expect him to. He's concentrating on not selling out as much as anything. Now he's going to two rail this into the twelve and kiss off a bunch of balls and draw up table and put him in a put him in a bad one. He can only hit this really, really thin. Now it's about four hours for me, Jay. But yeah, we, we used to play a lot. Of, I've played in a lot of ring games in Bellflower on the big table for 30 hours or so. Uh oh, he got away Ooh, with it. He jumped out of the way. He jumped at that one, didn't he? It's a jump shot. Like a Michael Jordan. Thing. Yeah, I've got. I do that pretty well myself. Well, Meg, you're there. They're going to take turns beating each other, but lately it's been Alex. Uh, although Dennis has won this thing the last couple years, I think, can and he, has beat Alex in this tournament to win it. He can bank this ball in, man. He's back. He's back. He's on the, the second attack. one. He might have just here, but he's got to get it out of the way too again, and he did adjust. Come on, let's go. Yeah, Let's drag this on a couple more hours. <laughs> I'm getting close. I can't tell any more lies. I've run out of lies. <laughs> now, what? Okay, now he can... This is dangerous, but if he wants to get out, and these guys, are, the ball and six he's right either going to he's either going to go into the one ball and try to use the six to break the stack, or split the six and the eleven with, with the crutch in English. He's not going to use inside English. That's too dangerous. Where he's at. Oh, he missed it anyway. Oh no, he didn't. Tried to See, hit the one, I guess. Yeah, if he hits the one, he's. He can still make the six, can he? Looks like it. And then he gets an angle on the one. He's still there. Uh-oh, block. He's boogie. Yeah. The nine goes? The no. nine goes? No, no, no. My spotter right here says it goes. My caddy. Huh? Oh, my gosh. It goes. You're looking right down the barrel, isn't it? Yeah. 
can't tell with I can't tell from my angle, but it does go, and that means two more balls. One, two, three, four, five, and this is it. No, he needs two more. He's gonna come up for the ten. Isn't he? Yeah. Or try to come up for the ten. Ah he'll go. He's gonna cut this thing, man. Yeah, yeah. He can't sell anything out, you know what I mean? Why not try to get it close? I mean, you're not going to sell anything out, right? Nothing well, in the pack goes. Just he he overcut over it? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And he's got a cross bank. You think so? The ball might be too close to the rail. No. Is it off the rail, though? Hey, this can cross. Okay. I think it can cross. I think he's... A, hair off the rail it looks like Damn, and there's often a double ball. kiss in the shot that you can't see and it goes goes over there anyway but he can uh, I think Dennis needs one and he's gonna get it right here but look here if he makes that what happens can you follow us on the other side of the table and not worry mm -hmm. about it Anything? Yeah, he can follow it to the end rail. Come on, get in that hole. It did. We got action, baby. We got action, We're people. We're California billiard sports What a great fans. set. Is it, is it a free stream? Yeah. How many are watching? How many are watching? How many are watching? 700. 740. There were 2,000 before we started commentating. <laughs> this, isn't this a great, one of the greatest sets you've seen in a long time? Unbelievable. And we've seen a lot of one pocket. Yeah, yeah. The two rail, when he hit the long two railer, he started walking for position. Uh -oh. Uh oh. We want Hill Hill. He missed the head ball and hit the second ball full on. Did he hit the second ball full on? Right? Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, yeah. We've been de defending Ronnie Allen, Jay, and I for years, but I think we got to admit that he'd have no chance. <laughs> Pete, Ronnie was funny. He was a good friend of mine in his later years. I've known him since I, since I was in high school. You guys were in it, high school, or you knew him? I knew him when I was in high school. Oh, okay. He was a, a little bit older than me, not much. And, some, and everybody's always asking him, do you think you could beat Efren? Do you think you could beat Efren? And he says, you know what? He says he might beat me, but he'd be too tired to spend the money. <laughs> 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 but Ronnie had a lot more going on than just top pool player. He had that shark going and the conversation. But he was, you talk about somebody fun to watch play. I didn't particularly like that. I thought he should have gone up for the. Did you see when he played Danny DiLiberto in uh, I've seen Arizona? the tape, yeah. Well, Jay that was, produced that, was that tape. Fun. Jay produced oh, that. Oh, Jay did? Jay Helfer, yeah. Oh, that was cool. That was a pretty good one. Came down to the wire. Neither one of them were at the top of their game. And, and Danny never could, you know. I, I remember when Danny came out from uh, from New York, and they, he wasn't a one pocket player. He was just a terrific straight pull player and rotation player. And they were trying to match up, and, and Ronnie said, "There's no way in the world a use can beat a y'all playing one pocket." <laughs> <laughs> and Ronnie spotted him the first time they play. If I my memory's right, that's a long time ago. Wow. Wow. Jacked up, go into the stack and break him up. Now if he can force force follow over for the deuce, he's probably out. Well, what's he gonna do here, yeah, folks? Yeah, what's he gonna get on now? Well, he might. You got to be careful going under these balls because he gets scratched. Scratch, yeah. So he can draw it up. 
but he can't put enough stroke to get up table, I don't think. If he could hit it in the face on the top side of the five, that ah, that's going to kiss. I'm thinking maybe a ball could slam across, but... I don't know. See, I'd just play pocket speed and go down there and get, get rid of one of them balls and hide behind the other one, but these guys think at a different level. But if he goes tries to go over and get shape, he can scratch off that nine. That's pretty dangerous. Or he can just draw with inside English and go the other way, which is probably what he's going to do, a player of his caliber. We are re this is really a treat. I've seen a lot of good one pocket. You don't expect a guy like Alex to, to blow the break like that either. See, that's what he, no. He's going to try and pick those balls off down there. Oh, my God. He'd have hit the backside of yeah. it. He would have got away with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's got five, right? I think he's just going to stiff this and knock it. He's going to stiff this and knock the nine out. 5-0, and if he wins this game, it's his break on the Hill Hill game. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, that was very costly. That yeah. I mean, he missed the whole head ball. He's going to smack into the second ball. Well, he's trying to hit it real thin and bury, really bury him. Maybe make one even. What's this here? Uh, that's... Uh, he didn't want to do that. We don't want a ball down. You know, he'd rather have that ball up table. But okay, Alex, you pull this one out. He's just gonna knock one of them out and freeze him on the other one, right? I don't know what he said. Oh, he's he's gonna, what's he, he doing? doing? I don't like it. He's going to cross the five now. He's in trouble. Got a free shot and with no safety. He's trying to get, was he trying to freeze him on the uh, 10 and the 6? I think he's trying to get up there and hide it, protect them balls. But, uh, well, no, he does. I think he can cross it and get under the 9. But either that or just stone straight draw it, but that's dangerous. Or take him out. He might bank the nine and spin back into the. No, he's going to. Because you know, this is such a high percentage to make this shot. Got to at least hang it. He doesn't like it. Yeah, it's kind of got a weird angle. He's going to take them out. Take them both out with a lot of mustard. No. Better go. Oh. Well, how can that ball? How can that ball not go? Yeah, those pockets are deep on the diamond tables, huh? Yeah, but they're supposed to drop one there and that do you, deep. Do you think it's behind the two points? If you drew a straight line from point to point, that ball would be behind him. Oh yeah, that ain't right. That ain't right, well, Luke. close to it. Close to it. I can't forget. Jay. What kind of tables and the table and the tournament you put on the Color of Money tournament in '87 with those real deep pockets? Peter Vitali. Peter Vitali's worst tables I ever saw. <laughs> if a guy missed a ball like this, you had to kick at it off the point. That's how deep it was. Had to play in a tux. I, I got invited to play in it. This dog my butt out. But it was it's fun. Okay, Al. If this, if he gets out again, I mean, Dennis had to go for that.
I know, I know. You had to play oh, it off the God. point. You had to play them off the point. I played in that. You invited me to play in that. I played in that tournament. Oh. Boy, he can move that ball around. He's got that no. short backswing. You notice he don't go back eight inches. Watch how short his swing is. It's all forward motion. He controls that cue ball so good. I don't think he's gonna I don't think he's gonna get all the way out this time. I think he's gonna come back and shoot the seven here. I, mean, what, I don't know what he's gonna do. Or is he drawing for the fourteen? Fourteen. Overstroked it. The old adrenaline is the adrenaline is flowing, folks. Okay, what's he do here? Well the deal is if he's gonna shoot that ball that stripe in, can he move the three or the two over for another shot, you know? Yeah, he might knock something closer to the hole. I mean it's uh, I think he's gonna sh what's he well, he's gonna shoot it. That's what he played position on. And if he runs into the deuce... If he can get the rail first... No, if he runs into the deuce, he might get a clear shot on that ball in between the three the and the six. If he can get the rail first before he hits the two, he can get it over there. Or just go right through the two. See here? Oh, my. So he wanted to hit something. Yeah, I think he wanted to move it over. Then he would have been right on the three. If he would have touched that, he would have been straight in on the three. Yeah. Well, the three or the or the other ball goes too. The stripe looks like it might have had from that angle. Shoot the three and then the stripe, then the seven. Is he, is he thinking of banking the three and drawing back? I don't think so. Huh. I don't think he's got the angle he can do that. Yes, he's got a weird angle. Well, he would he's going to make this ball. He might he, corner hook him. No? He's going to uh, cross that seven ball and leave him long distance. So. I think he's got a. How many has he got down there? Not hit that tit when he. Uh, four? Or three, four. Six, four, Dennis. Six, four, Dennis. He hits that point, it's all over. Crossing that seven ball. No, he's not. He's shooting a 10. 14. That's a 14? It's a 10. I know. Well, Let's go over the rail. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got a ball down too. Right. But see, I, I'm surprised he didn't get it over on his own side. Two rail it on his side to get, get down the end rail. He's gonna get. Trying to hit a home run. No. He's trying to get him on the rail. Okay. Okay, he survived another shot. Well, he's just pretty effective, you know. He's getting uh, getting balls out of basically out of play. That three ball is no good unless you get absolutely straight in on it. So he's going to just have to bank the six over on his side, I think. Leave the cube on the rail under the two ball. Unless he's going to shoot a trick shot off the deuce, he's liable to do anything. Can he get that full enough to get it over to his? He well, he'd have to whack it, but he can. He's, he might I mean, try to hide it. No, he's just going to bank. He's banking down? it over, I think. No, maybe not. Let's see. Uh oh, he, that's kind of creative, but uh, no good. He tried it, but he didn't. He went through the ball too much. But he was trying to get it on his side and hide it with the three. How many does Dennis need? Two. And this is a free shot, basically. So he just can play it to the hole and have a shot at the six. Oh, he's drawing it. He likes this. He likes to stun this. He's gonna 
play in shape on the seven. seven. No. Uh, yeah, he just likes to drive things. Feels more confident, I guess, back in the ball. Got Here action, we go. Baby. We got action, people. Hill, war, hill. War. And uh, Dennis Orcoyo is breaking against Alex. Here we go, folks. The winner of this match, we're going to have a little break now, plays Tony Chohan for the hot seat at noon tomorrow. Sit up. He wants a picture. See if you can make my hair a little darker this time. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Ralph DeLoyne says, poor John Anderson, as good as he plays, you can't guess what these guys are going to shoot about <laughs> every time. Next level of birthday, <coughs> John Anderson. <laughs> well, the, the, real, the real tough one is when Chohan is playing to figure out what the hell he's going to do. We got people in uh, New Jersey watching. This has really been a great set, and he. You know, I already have Dennis on a fifty-dollar bet. Are you gonna let me have Dennis? Do you really? No, I have Dennis to win the tournament. I have I have two players, and a, and a friend of mine has two players. Uh, he has Shane and Alex, and, and I have Dennis and Chohan. So we're both. The good news is we're both going to be in the hot seat, Daddy, <laughs> for a fair fifty-dollar bet. He beat me uh, last last one. Uh-oh, Action Bob showed up. That means Lettuce Larry is here. <laughs> Lettuce, there's Action tonight with Action Bob. Action Bob owns two girly bars, dancing bars. He used to own a pool room in Gilroy. That's when we called him Action Bob. He's stakes, stakes players, plays players. <laughs> He's not quite as much action as his name, is he, Bob? But I, I played a set uh, when they opened uh, Santa Clara Billiards. Uh, I played, uh, what was Paul's nickname? Garlic Paul? Or, or, or Paul, uh, Paul Martinez. We played a set of nine ball for 3,000. Huh? He was back in Paul in, uh, what's the guy's name that owned it? He passed away. The guy that owned Santa Clara Billiards, uh, the Italian. Anyway, he had, I had 1,000 or 1,500 of the, of the 3,000, and he had the rest of it. We, and Paul had just bought a jump cue. He jumped himself out of the cash. He loved it. Once I saw that, I kept, kept hooking him because he really couldn't jump. Very nice young guy, good player at that time. But I could play a little nine ball back then in the 90s. Alex has got a real problem here. As good as he's playing, he has a chance to lose this set. What a tribute to, to Alex's game. He's just seen some remarkable one pocket. 
He's going to take a scratch. He's going to kick down here. And if he does, it's very, very scary. Of course, both of these guys, if they lose, they're not out of the tournament. It, they'd love to win the one pocket, believe me. He's going to take a scratch. No. Look out. Now, here's the problem. You're right back in there. And that nine's coming down on the side. You can just raise the nine see, and put see, it back I, in the stack. I, I would cut the nine and make sure I get in the stack. What they like to do is hit it hard and spin it, you know, and force follow it back. But, you know, he's got about one, two, three, four and a half balls to get yeah. into. Or, you know, you so know, get it on his side and then put him in the yeah, stack but, instead but of just thinning and leaving it, it over but there. When you do that, you can get in trouble. You can hit it too hard. I'm just going to make sure that I freeze him up on the stack. But he's going to—he's probably going to bank it hard and come back. Get it on his side. But that was fairly easy. He had—you know—he wasn't jacked up too tight and whatever. But now Alex's going to. Have to kick behind these balls. He's pretty good at this. Well, he better be. He just can't leave him a shot on the five. Oh my goodness! I think he even hit. What it. makes you think he's pretty good at? <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Jacked up, two strokes, wham! But now he can fan this ball and get it where it goes and get back over and hide him again. Looks like he's got a funny angle. If he doesn't bank this. He's looking. I, I don't think he can twist it. He's looking at the seven. Or he's just been thinking of shooting into the ten. It looks like you can see that ten ball over there. I, yeah, I just don't. I don't know why he just doesn't fan this six or the four and go behind the stack over there. You got an angle that he can even do. Oh, that? I see why yeah, he doesn't right have the he, angle. Yeah. He'd, he'd have to. He'd have to knock it pretty hard and two rail it in there, and that's a little tougher. Yeah, I'm looking at the other screen now. He's got a bank if he wants to shoot it, you know, and he can ram it and force well, follow it. I does. bet he's going to he, – oh, I'm surprised he's, he's not – He's not even looking at it, is he? He doesn't – he does you know, normally – normally he – I guarantee you he'd be – that's like a high percentage shot for him with a and bunch of balls. Now he's going two rails into the stack with this. And – Nice good shot. Wade speed. Boy, got it tough. Now it's going to have to shoot off this ball and draw it down behind it and maybe leave it, leave something. <laughs> you might be kicking again. Don't know what's going to happen. He's got to hit this fairly firm to get the cue ball to the end rail. <coughs> and we got lucky. Wow. That could have that could have been a disaster. Now he can bank this. Uh, he can bank this and draw it in the 15. But that, there's a dead combo there. It looks like. Well, he's going back into the stack again. He's going to wear him out with this. Yeah, he's got pretty easy out here. Get a ball in his side.
<laughs> he did what he wanted to do. He's got a ball on his side. And uh, and he's got a problem. Here. Got no long rail banks. Might just shoot the five by the eight and roll a cue ball up there. I don't know what else he's got. He doesn't want to leave a bank. Unless he just wants to swing, he can't do that. Can't draw it. He could have drawn it last time. Got him in trouble here. Kick the five. Well, there's, he's got there's, a pretty. Nothing, nothing goes in his pocket if he misses. Yeah, that's right. There's no combo there. And it's got a big pocket because the five's coming in into like the red ball, the black ball. It's kind of scary. He's banking this ball. He's banking this ball and trying to hide, but you know he's not going to do that. He's he's trying to. Uh huh. He faked you out. Oh yeah, I got two whiplashes watching. But he was trying to bank it and stun it over. Yeah, he and, two and, uh, back in the Double stack. him up on the on the other ball. This is really a bold shot because he'd have to hit it so hard he could knock something over on the other side. This is the first shot I thought. Just roll it over and snuggle up on the. 11 or the five or the eight. They well, don't want to do that either. Or just go for it then. Sell out the game. See, he don't, he don't want to go down playing safe. He's, he's going to shoot the five, I think. Just roll it over. You, look, you know, he's he getting two railing back in the stack. Well, but the problem, you know, if he does that, then it's just going to keep getting worse. Allison is just keep putting him over there until he wiggles loose. You know, he's got the advantage here. He's going to take a scratch and go two rails into the stack. Just like that. Pretty good shot. Now Allison going to take a scratch, kicking behind the deuce. He can't do this perfect forever, can he? Well, I don't know. They can only do it three times. <laughs> so. He didn't. Ooh, nope. So he owes one, didn't he? Or did it get there? I think he's going over to grab a penny. Yeah, yeah. He owes two, and Dennis owes one. I think Dennis going for this one. Can he make the five and not break up anything in the stack? Well, if, if he if he don't make it, there's a pretty he, he nice combo on the eight and the thirteen. Here's that's the problem here. Oh, that eight goes, huh? Oh yeah, the eight does now because remember Dennis just two railed into the stack and loosened it up. But this is such a high percentage shot for these guys. He wins a game probably if he makes this one. Maybe loses it if he don't. And Dennis would have loved to be shooting this combo. Uh-oh. Well, now, I don't know. This ain't no cinch. I think he likes this, man. He's going to get it. Okay. Is a deuce go? The deuce goes, he's going to like it. If not, he's got to spin around off the. The two ball go? 
Evidently. Oh. He wanted... <laughs> he wanted it... For, okay. Just make the six and then go for the... Uh, well, it looks like the five would go, but he's... he's okay, he's going to shoot the five. Well, now he's going to have to draw around it. You know, nothing comes easy. Yeah, oh, the three goes. Oh, yeah. All right, then he can get up in there. Ooh. Yeah. Ten. Got five. He needs more? four. He needs four, four because he owes one. What a set! Or does he owe two? One or two? He owes one. He <laughs> owes one, and Alex owes two. I can draw back on the eleven. Well, we could see these guys playing again. They got to get by Chohan well, the way he's playing. He's got to stun this and get on the eight, I guess. So or Alex, is he going to go up table? Alex is going to have to play Tony Chohan, right? No, no, no. The winner, Tony's. Yeah, they're playing for the hot seat tomorrow. Chohan's already won. Oh, okay. And he plays the winner of this. Okay, good. One, two, three, four, okay. six, seven. He needs two more. <laughs> two more. We're going to draw back into the 10 mm, here. Yeah, you come up up the rail. <laughs> what a set. What a set, people. Mm. Wow. For a guy to play as good as Alex played and lose that set's unbelievable. Thank you, people. What a great performance from both players. Amazing. And a uh, big, big thanks to uh, Kenny Crenshaw and John Henderson for, uh, for providing excellent commentary in the box here on uh, POV Pool. want to thank all you guys for watching. Stay tuned, guys. We've got uh, Alex versus Chris McDaniel coming up right after this match. Uh, well, coming up next. Chris Mc what? Who's playing next? Chris McDaniel versus Alex Pagelion. Coming up next. Don't go anywhere, guys. We still got some pool. This is the West Coast swing. Thanks to West State Billiards.